When you have a HMO, the minimum room size is something to always consider. But here's how I was able to get a prohibition notice removed from this property for one of the rooms which was under the minimum size. So this property I've owned for 10 years and the small room has a long corridor that leads up to it. That corridor has got storage space inside it. And with that, it's about eight and a half square meters. But good old Norwich City Council, after a complaint from a disgruntled tenant who had fallen out with our housemates, came and visited and decided that it was 0.2 square meters under the minimum 6.51. Instead of just issuing me with their works order or asking how I was gonna resolve it, in good old Norwich City style, where they like to spend tax Mahayas money without any consideration, they hit me with a prohibition notice. Well, that prohibition notice was not even worth the paper which printed on. In fact, I wiped my ass with it because after getting a lawyer engaged, we were able to prove that there was historic determination by a judge that when a property is rented to an historic group, a group of already formed friends who come from different households, when they have large amounts of communal space to use, the small room determination doesn't always bite. And because it was such a small infringement, we're talking about literally a space you couldn't even eat your tea off, they had nowhere else to turn. It doesn't mean that they welcomed the news and were grateful for the education piece. They fought us to the very, very bitter end and it got to the point where they were gonna face a huge legal bill of costs or lift the prohibition notice.